benefits of joining the forum are that it gives you a place to voice your concerns um, and your frustrations, but also a place to ask for advice about clinical practice and how so you get lots of guidance, we get lots of research sent out, but actually getting that into your daily practice can be quite a challenge. And there must be other people out there experiencing the same challenges. So by being part of the forum, you can ask, how have you done this? Because I'm struggling with it. Um, and then it's quite nice to know that actually other people are having the same problems as you and you can share and all that kind of stuff. So you've got sort of sharing your concerns and your frustrations, but also your daily stories and the things that made you laugh out loud today, because there are lots of those things as well. Um, and I think it, it just keeps you engaged so that you stay relevant and you're communicating with other people, but you're engaged with what's happening. And if you've got something that's really bugging you today, something that's really burning, you really want to talk to somebody about it and share it, you can do that because the forum kind of lets you into the Facebook page and the Twitter, so start hashtag, you know, debate something on um, the Facebook page. That's great. Um, but just get involved and be relevant because it can be quite difficult to do that given for certainly for older people's nursing they're in all aspects um, all different settings you can be working in social care not just an acute hospital and you can become quite isolated you know if you're the only nurse working in a nursing home where do you get your professional development your your sound bites from where do you kind of just check out something i'm feel, i'm feeling this can i just check that out is that right you're really on your own. So to kind of my message, don't be, there's really no need. We've spent the last two years trying to um, push awareness of delirium out in the community. And we have this logo, Don't Discount Delirium. Um, so we had a nice animated film and a whole training program um, which focused on having delirium champions. Um, and that's been really successful with you know, over 4,000 people have seen those materials and so experienced that's so that we were really pleased with that but also there's things around trying to support nurses um, nursing assistants and students with the sort of ethical dilemmas that you get in all aspects of nursing but I think they're particularly heavy with older people um, and we've done some work um, around something fairly controversial with um, romantic relationships in care homes um, so there's some guidance in that. So you've got the obvious clinical stuff like delirium, and then you've got these other ethical issues that just done to, that people are just struggling with. And there's really where do I go with that? Um, and so it's it, I think we're pleased that we were able to pick that up as an issue and and dealt with it in a sensitive way. And um, we all had lots of learning along the way to to writing some supportive guidance around that. So our forum strategy <laughs> is to engage with our members to work with them to support their practice and their professional development, to work in areas where there are ethical dilemmas, um, to work with other organisations and to support them with everything they need.